Hi, I'm Tim Gunn, and you're watching Predicto TV. Hi, this is Brandas from Predicto TV. I'm here at Midtown Comics with the debut of the new Models Inc. comic book featuring Tim Gunn and artist Phil Jimenez. We're going to talk comics and see how much these guys know about the hottest topics that have everyone talking in the Predicto mobile community. Hi, I'm here with style expert Tim Gunn. Uh, thank you, Brandeis. Thank you so much. Yes, tell me, what, how did your appearance come about here for the Models, Inc.? Well, it was phenomenal enough for me to be a character in Models, Inc., uh -huh. uh, which you may know is a revival of a very popular Marvel comic from the 50s called mm -hmm. Millie the Model. And now it's been reborn in the 21st century. And when Marvel contacted me, I thought, they must have the wrong person. I'm a 56-year-old man. I mean, I'm going to be a superhero in, in a comic book that stars models, but it's happened. And what was the best part of the collaboration for you? Is there one part you can pick out? You know, the best part is always the surprise element of not knowing quite where this is going and then being completely wowed by it when you see it. Um, because Marvel was so, just the, the most wonderful people to work with, and they were very serious in saying, you know, we, we want your feedback and, and we want your participation in this. And I said, you know, I have the greatest respect for what you do, and it's not what I do, so just do it. And so, for Project Runway, are there any superhero-type challenges that we can see in the future for that? Well, I think our designers are superheroes. Mm -hmm. How they conceive, how they execute, how they present, and then... The time is real, and we have no breaks. And I have to tell you, by day 24, I'm ready to throw in the towel. It's like, enough, enough, I'm going home. So for them to be able to sustain it, it's just, it's remarkable. I marvel at them every day. Marvel! <laughs> okay, and I saw that you did some type of public service announcements for PETA, and that I you did. were instrumental... Apparently. And you're instrumental in bringing them to Parsons, so yes. they had a presence there. And, you know, the celebrities are doing more and more of those. Do you think yes. Lady Gaga will come out and do a nude ad for PETA? Lady Gaga would do anything. <laughs> Heard it here, folks. Okay, and being that you're a man of fashion, do you think Kanye West will collaborate with The Gap and release his own clothing line? That could be fabulous. Think it's a good idea. Well, you guys heard it here first. Tim Gunn, <laughs> the style guru. Thank you for Thank joining you, us. Brenda. It's lovely to see you again. Hey, I'm here with Phil Jimenez, who is the illustrator of Models Inc. How are you? I'm doing great tonight. How are you? Very good. It was a great event. A lot of people, all kinds. Tell me, how did you become involved in Models Inc.? Uh, you know what? Somebody called and asked me. I'd done the um, Amazing Spider-Man cover with President Obama earlier this year. So I've become known as the portrait artist at Marvel Comics. They asked if I could do a portrait of Tim. I've known Tim for years. I said, absolutely. And here I am, and I can't believe it. It's stunning. Okay, and so in the vein of we're talking about superheroes and sure, movies sure, sure. and stuff, the R Ryan Reynolds, you know, that he is slated to do Green, Green Lantern, Lantern and Deadpool. Do you think he'll drop out of one of those, or are you going to take both roles? Oh, I, if he's smart, he'll take both roles. I know he's excited about both. He was great as Deadpool. Um, and I know they've been looking for a, a solid Green Lantern. I think he, he'll be perfect for that role. So my hope is that he sticks with both of them. And what about Megan Fox? We know she's hot in her own right and Megan hot Fox's lately. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You think Good she'll play her in a movie? Father, uh, Megan Fox is ridiculous. She's so beautiful and she's going to be hot and whatever she does. Um, I know she's not a big Wonder Woman fan. I think I need to school her a little bit about how good Wonder Woman can be. But that said, I think she'll be perfect as um, Fathom and um, in the next Transformers movie. She's going to be great. That's about all for this edition of Predicto TV. Until next time, if you think you have what it takes, you can win some great prizes by predicting what will happen next. Go to Predicto.com and check out the fastest growing mobile community.